Hey, what's up? Coach Austin here to talk about the Peck Deck Fly or the Machine Chess Fly, whatever you like to call it. So a big thing in this movement, again, as we're talking about in all of these videos, is going to be proper setup in the beginning because if we don't have proper setup, we can have great execution or we're going to be fighting ourselves a lot to get or create better execution. So all of that being said, this movement is most likely going to be in your programming to work that middle chest division, okay? So that's called the sternal pec, okay? So if we go through the divisions of the pec really quick, we have that clavicular pec, which is known as that upper pec, okay? So that's here. We have the sternal pec, okay, which is right there in the middle. So we're gonna focus on driving that upper arm, lining that upper arm up with like the middle of the chest, if you will. Okay, and then we have the lower pec division, which is that actual lower pec. Okay, so it actually drives down and more in this plane, and actually those fibers actually run more downward than you'd think. Okay, so not all fibers actually run across the chest. So those sternal fibers are the ones that are really, really good at actually pulling our upper arms across our chest, towards our sternum. And so that is what this movement is really, really good at doing. So that being said, a common question that we get is how do I know where to put my seat? Now, you may have to adjust your seat because chances are you're not just going to find the machine perfectly set up for you. That goes with any movement. So that's why these setup cues and setup landmarks, if you will, are very important to grasp. So when looking to actually figure out your seat height, you may have to play with it a little bit and that's okay, but we wanna be sure that we're getting it right because if we're not, we can get a lot of stress in, that, in those shoulder joints, which can over time add up and cause a lot, a lot of stress and cause injuries to happen. Okay, so again, as we're looking, we wanna be sure as I come out here, we wanna be sure that I'm in a position and we can tell before we grab these, for example. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through that. Okay, so we can tell if I'm in a really good position to actually have that upper arm, use those fibers that I'm wanting to, those middle chest fibers, the sternal chest fibers to actually pull across my chest here, okay? So that's how I know. Now, if my seat is too high, okay, I'm gonna be in a weird position, okay? I may have to go, I may have to actually go up or actually kind of come down if the seat isn't optimally set up for you, okay? So again, as long as we're as close as we can be here, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So that being said, just be sure that those upper arms coming across the chest, okay? So as we grab these, we wanna create, really help create some stability here in the upper back when, we, when, we're, we're, when we're in this position, okay? Now as we come here, come across, okay? Allow those shoulder blades to actually rotate naturally. So it's a common mistake to actually keep these th things pinned, okay? So people sometimes will get in this position almost like they're thinking like they're doing a powerlifting bench press, which isn't what we're doing here. Okay, so they'll, they'll think they need to pinch and pin these shoulder blades down and then they get a lot of tension, but it's a lot of instability is what it is. Okay, so this isn't what we're looking for. We're not looking to shake through this movement. We're not looking to create impingement at the shoulder necessarily, right? So what we're looking to do is we do want some tension, but as we come across those the shoulder blades and those scapula are gonna have to naturally rotate. Okay, so let them naturally rotate and then focus on driving that upper arm into that, into that sternum, into the middle of that chest, okay? So we think about the chest. It originates here on the sternum, okay? And then it attaches here on the upper arm, okay? So think about bringing those two points together to fully shorten that chest, okay? So that being said, we're not focusing on a common mistake here, and we're gonna see a lot of you guys do this, do this and that's okay. We're, that's why we're talking about it here in this long form execution video, okay? So a common mistake that we're gonna see is you're gonna wanna bring those handles together. And as you can see, I'm not quite in the same position, right? So here, I'm focusing on driving those upper arms in, okay? And you'll notice the handles aren't touching here. Now, I can move more weight like this and I can do some of these and look, look really intense but that doesn't mean that I'm optimally executing or optimally using those chest muscles as I'd like to, okay? 
So again, we're focusing on really driving that upper arm. Think about driving those upper arms together. Again, allowing those shoulder blades and the scapula to naturally kind of rotate here. So we're not wanting to actually round and do this either. Okay, so we want, a, we want a nice, stable, neutral position. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of protraction, a little bit of forwardness with our shoulder blades here. But again, not excessive, right? Also, again, we don't, we're not as worried about this as we are. Really good movement. And you're gonna notice the difference there, okay? You're gonna notice the difference. Okay, so again, we'll run through that one more time really quick. Okay, so in terms of seat height, make sure you're in a position to actually work that sternal pec. Make sure you're in a good position to actually work that middle of the chest that we're trying to work. So that's gonna look something like this plane. So make sure that the seat is in a position that you can do that. Next, again, we're wanting to focus on driving those upper arms together, not bring your hands together. Okay, it's a common mistake. Okay, so drive those upper arms together here, okay? Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.